Syab kits. What are they? Why would you want one? And what's so special about them? Well, let's dig into that a little bit, shall we? So basically the way this came about was we've been doing off-grid solar about 13 years and in that time we have found many limitations with off-grid systems. Not necessarily the equipment itself but the issues that are faced around um, taking equipment to a remote area. Um, I remember a particular job that we did where trying to get into the particular driveway uh, was out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it had rained for about a week prior and we took the work truck, or I took the work truck. Now, the work truck weighed nearly six tonne. The lady who owned the property had been going in and out of the driveway perfectly fine in their little tonne and a half ball drive. I put the six tonne truck into the driveway and it promptly sank through the mud and got bogged. And I wasn't equipped with recovery gear to pull a fully loaded truck and trailer out of the mud. Um, that's just one of many, many stories I can tell you about the challenges that we face on site, trying to get all of our gear to site. Um, you know, the weather comes in, the other issues that you face, um, the most prominent you find once you start employing staff is that inevitably, somewhere in communications, semi-regularly, somebody forgets that one bit that you need to finish the job, and it's either sitting at the workshop or forgot to order it or forgot to bring it or whatever it is, you go to turn the system on or to run something, realize that you're missing that one component, the whole project stops while you spend a, a half a day or a day doing a round trip back to the supplier or waiting for an order to come in for the one part you forgot. So how does that all tie into this whole SIAB kit idea? Well, what we've done, and this came about from a conversation where we were actually asked to develop a off-grid power system for a couple of other countries. Long backstory behind that one. Anyway, the concept was fine. What we ended up hitting the issue with was the freight. Now, Australia's so far from anywhere that trying to ship product overseas, uh, plus you're talking about shipping things that have lithium batteries in them, so all your shipping costs and insurance and everything went through the roof. So it made them um, unviable to, to do the way that we had envisaged it. So it kind of went on the back burner for a while. And then with COVID restricting a lot of movement in the country, um, we looked at how we could re-engineer what we were doing because obviously we couldn't get to as many places either. Um, where we operate out of is we were doing a lot of cross-border work, so that all ground to a halt. So it really made us put our thinking caps on as to how we could provide high-quality off-grid systems to the clients that we wanted to supply them to but with all the limitations that existed in the world, especially at the COVID, you know, the height of COVID. And so that sort of led into this whole idea of how about we look at these pre-built systems for Australia. Now, my number one challenge in that was anybody can just throw a bit of equipment into a box and say, here you go, there's your stuff in the box. You can assemble it yourself, you can finish it off, we'll just supply the stuff. Or we'll just build it, throw it in a box and hope that it doesn't sort of you know, fail on you and uh, it's up to you how that all sort of pans out. I wanted to create a solution that all of the thinking had been done and that a customer that wanted to simply have a box that produced power and everything was done and compliant to all of the Australian regulations because obviously we have a lot of safety regulations around solar and battery uh, kind of arrangements. There are a ton of standards that we need to apply uh, to our installations and so I wanted to make sure that was all designed into whatever we did. So that take, took many iterations to try and create because the first challenge that you find is if you get a box and you jam a whole bunch of electrical equipment into it, it gets very hot. So the first thing we had to work out was how we were going to do and control uh, active cooling into these boxes because otherwise we're not going to be able to you know, well, we can sell a product, but we're going to very quickly have the phone call of saying, hey, it's either all caught fire or it all ramped down because it got too hot or whatever else has gone wrong with it. So all that had to be designed out of it. Then we had to work out a way that we could build the unit, fit everything off, power it up, make sure everything worked, then power it down and make it safe for transport, 
<coughs> where we didn't have to pull everything out of the box, ship it independently, and then have it reassembled on site. So that meant that everything had to be built in the box to be travel worthy. It needs to be able to be picked up and dropped by a forklift. It needs to be able to be thrown on the back of a, um, you know, an old delivery truck that's got no suspension in the back that's going to bounce down the road. It means we have to rubber mount stuff. It means that we need to ensure that all of our welds are of a standard that are going to withstand a whole bunch of punishment um, so that the equipment can actually get to the destination fully assembled without any issues. So now we have the ability to put our expertise to work in a workshop. It means that when we build a system, we hook it up to our own PV array and our own load and monitoring systems, and we run the system through a full charge cycle, uh, a full discharge cycle, and then another charge cycle to make sure that all of the upper limits are set on all the limiting devices. We want to see and make sure that it's going to function when we're talking about the uh, relays uh, and their particular set points. We want to make sure that the low battery discharge uh, disconnect works. We want to make sure that everything that's going to occur on site occurs in the workshop and we can prove that everything's running smoothly before it uh, ever leaves the workshop. There are a couple of things that are worth keeping in mind with these kits. We do offer full warranties. There is different uh, options on our kits. We have our our B series kits, which are our base model ones. We then have our K series and our S series. What we want to provide is a hassle-free, trouble-free, off-grid power system solution that just doesn't have any headaches in it. And if it does, we wear the headaches, we take it on, we fix it, and we get you back up and running. That's what we're here for. And another big part of what we do is making sure that we have a permanent line of communication to all of our clients if anything ever happens, that we're at the other end of the phone. It's not a 10-week a process to try and contact us. We engineer all the headaches out in the workshop. We package this box up. We send it to you. And it is simple as when you get to site or when the box gets to site, you pop it into position. You're going to connect your earthing uh, system. So if you've got an existing electrical system, let's say your electrician was already on site and he's wired your new house up, He'll run an earth over from his main earth to the box and the main power feed uh, cable. On a system like that, we would provide it with a junction box. He would simply connect to the terminals inside the junction box. That provides the system earthing and it provides your active neutral conductors back to your switchboard. And you hook that side in. You do have to get somebody at your end to install the solar panels. Now, we can also supply the uh, full wiring diagram based on the equipment in your system so that it matches the panel set that you purchase. Uh, we can provide the type of uh, mounting system that you need. So typically um, we see a lot of systems use the tin interface, so the corrugated tin interface. So designed for sheds and color bond roofing, that sort of thing. We also have tile kits. We have clip lock. Um, there's a number of different profiles of sort of commercial roofing. We have specific bracketry we can supply for that. We have ground mount options, pole mount options. Uh, we can design it to fit onto a tiny home. Um, but we can go through that whole process when you order a kit to make sure that we can supply you everything you need. The other thing we can supply is, as I said, the wiring diagram, but also the roof layout plan. So you can work with us and say, look, this is the size of my roof. I've got this many rows of, um, of batten, so you can see my screw lines. There's six rows there. The roof is this dimensions. We can then work out what's going to be the best layout for the panels, provide you with the drawings, provide you with the wiring diagram, and that's all for your electrician who um, may not be solar accredited. Now, solar panels can be installed by an electrician that is not solar accredited, but you can't claim the rebates like the STCs and other probably state government rebates, whatever's around at the time. The good part of that is while the STCs and other rebates are available, the rebates that you can get back, especially at the moment, on the installation of the solar panels will pretty much cover the entire cost of having that solar electrician electrician come out to site and do the installation. And so keep that in mind that it may seem like, oh great, it's another cost in there. If you get a licensed solar electrician to come and do the panel installation side, he's going to be able to claim the rebates and that will pretty much offset his entire cost for the most part. I mean, there's a lot of variances. This is a, a general um, a, situation I'm talking about. We can also just sell the kits. You don't need to get the solar panels, framing system, wiring, anything like that through us. You can just buy the box. And that way you may already have an existing solar system. You can contact us. 
we'll need a bit of data off you, but we can work with the existing voltage system that you have, the existing number of panels and the size of your array, and we can make a kit that's going to match your existing system. And we'll just send you the box and you can plug it into your system that's already there. We do build these kits with a plug-in. Uh, so they come standard with an input plug for a uh, generator. Small kits will be a 10 amp. The larger ones will be a 15 amp. They also come with either a 10 amp or 15 amp weatherproof power point outlet, which means the minute this box gets to site, let's say that you're replacing an existing system or your new panels have gone ahead of you and been installed by your electrician, you can put the box down, you can plug your 15 amp lead in that's gonna run your equipment, you're gonna plug your generator in, you're gonna turn some switches on, and in less than a couple of minutes, your system is producing power, it's accepting the incoming power from the solar, it's able to charge from the generator and it's giving you usable power out of that power point. These work in a number of different situations. I won't run into all of them, but you can imagine the use for these pre-built kits um, is almost endless. Um, one of the best things about the way we do it is we don't just sell the systems from, you know, jump online, click a form, pay your money, get your kit. Now that may seem counterproductive. Um, you want to just get online, have a look and go, yep, that's the one I want, buy that. Our experience tells us that a lot of people may overlook some of the more important details when it comes to sizing off-grid systems. So before we sell a system, you actually need to jump on a call with us and we'll go through what you've designed, what you're looking to do, make sure it's actually going to fit exactly what you want. And if that's all lining up, we're good to go. Then we can move on with building your kit and getting it out to you. But because there are nuances in designing systems, we do want to make sure that we actually provide you with the right kit, not just let you run off into the wind thinking you've got the right thing and then getting disappointed when it gets to the other end because it doesn't do what you wanted it to. So all that being said, these side kits are a phenomenal way for us to be able to get what we do to you to make sure you have trouble-free, hassle-free, off-grid power, as simple as possible, where we take all the headaches and you get all the benefits. There'll be a link either uh, down below in the description. You can jump on our uh, social medias, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You'll be able to find us there, find our links there. If you search SIAB, S-I-A-B, Solar in a Box, um, search that on any of the socials or Google, we should pop up. And uh, yeah, if there's anything we can do to help you in your off-grid journey, feel free to have a chat. And we do run a consult service as well, free of charge, 30 minutes. Talk to myself or one of the other solar designers about what you need, and then we can help you design exactly what you need. Even if you have no idea at this point, we can talk you through, we can work out what it is that you need, and then we can find a uh, suitable solution and get a quote out to you so you can uh, plan your life ahead with your new off-grid system. All right, take care, and we'll see you soon.